especially songs that are mainly uh, scripture passages in there, and you'll, you'll see several of those. Um, the, uh, several of the songs that we've practiced recently are Resurrection Sunday songs. So um, even though it's past, we, we're still celebrating, and we've got some of those songs for you. So uh, the next song is See What a Morning. Deeper than thy thorns pressing in. 
Forgive, Lord, so 
The next song is called Complete in Me, talking about uh, our completeness in Christ. Um, and it's interesting, the, the things in the Bible where sometimes it's like we, we are already complete in him. And in some places it talks about uh, renewing of our minds to become more like him. And uh, there, there are a lot of confusing things in the Bible where sometimes it seems like we, we are already seated at the right hand of God or seated in the heavenlies. And uh, in some other, some other ones, it's like the, the bridegroom has to come and get us. Um, but complete in the, takes it from the viewpoint of uh, knowing that we are already set and complete. Amen. Amen. Amen.
So uh, something that we try to do every once in a while is try to figure out why we're singing. Uh, try to figure out why we're singing um, so that we're not just going through motions of um, singing all of these songs. And it helps us to figure out which songs we're going to sing. Um, sometimes we will end up going into where we just sing the songs that are most fun for us or most easy for us. Um, and it's, it's hard to figure out then why we're singing. And they, uh, something that we were talking about last year was um, what, what name should we pick? And we decided to be the harp singers because sing and make music in your heart to the Lord. Um, but then, like, like I was saying last year, uh, if we're singing and making music in our heart to the Lord, what room is there for uh, singing to other people? And our purpose for singing to other people is so that you can also sing and make melody in your heart to the Lord. Amen. Not necessarily uh, singing out loud, but uh, also making music in your heart to the Lord mm -hmm. as you hear us sing. And I'm, I'm sure when I hear um, a choir singing, I'm like trying not to sing out loud myself usually, but um, singing in my heart to the Lord. And that's what we're hoping to do. Um, and something we talked about this time is we, we do a lot of work on trying to cut off at the right time and sing the right notes and sing the right chords and figure out which songs to sing. And it gets a lot bogged down into the technical details. Um, but what we talked about this year was basically um, the reason that we try to get all those technical details right is so that we can communicate better and so that um, your hearts will be connected to ours better. If we're doing something distracting or off-key, sometimes it can be harder to listen to. So um, we uh, hope we're, hope we're uh, communicating with your hearts well today. Yeah. So uh, we have three more songs to sing and then um, we'll hand it back to you. On that great, great morning when the storm was rolled away, on that resurrection morning, Jesus rose to life that day. There the tomb was empty. They said, Jesus is not here. He's alive. Great morning. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. On that great, great morning at the rising of the sun, those who saw the tomb was empty knew the victory had been won. He's alive, go, go and tell it, Jesus lives forevermore. He's alive, great morning, hallelujah, hallelujah. Jesus is alive, hallelujah, he's alive. Hallelujah, he's alive, what a great, great day. What a great, great day, what a great, great day. Great, great day. Jesus is alive, hallelujah, he's alive. Hallelujah, he's alive, what a great, great day. What a great, great day, he's alive.
Only Is He. That's a song that we like to do, uh, partly because it's got some audience participation in it. So uh, it's the, we've got a section of the song where we sing Holy, Holy, Holy. So if you know the, the first verse to Holy, 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 uh, I'll turn around and direct you in when it's time to start. <laughs> Oh 
contact with us and nodding along with the uh, with the words then we go oh our, the, what we're singing has meaning because Amen. when we've uh, when we've sung it 10 or 20 times before sometimes we forget what the words mean uh, and it's always a blessing to see you nodding along with the words and go oh and it's it's like us hearing it for the first time too so uh, thank you all for having us. Amen. Amen.